Let's just get straight to the point. Now, as by the title, you've seen, I want to buy land in Nigeria. What do I do? What do you do? I want to buy land. I'm like, wait, wait, who, 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 who do I call? Who do I call? First of all, let me tell you not what not to do. Don't go on Google and type in Nigerian uh, land estate agent or Nigerian uh, agents that sold properties in Lagos. I would not advise you to do that. I would not advise you to do that because I don't know who's behind the other end of the screen. Because you're going to type that, they're going to gash you and tell you, yeah, and what's, what's your budget? I can get you land in Lecky for £10. <laughs> and you're gassed. You're like, oh, that's a good deal. That's a good deal. Athi sounds good. And he even told you he's a Christian. He even told you he's a Christian. So now you're like, yeah, I'm gassed. He's a Christian and he's going to get me land for cheap. And then you now go and call him. You now send him money. He takes your money. You're now calling him. Hey. Answering machine. <laughs> Answering machine. Hey, they cleaned your money. Clean your money. You know, now there are some people out there who are genuinely selling legit land and are trustworthy. I would say trust your instinct, trust your gut. That is number one. If it doesn't feel right, do not do it. Don't force it because you because of your desires. If it doesn't feel right, don't do it. My first recommendation would always be for you to go first to your family and ask somebody in your family that has actually successfully built and their money wasn't taken from them. They were not sending money to one uncle that didn't build any house after six, seven, eight, nine, ten years time. They asked the uncle, uncle, where's my mom's house that you claimed you built? You lot are still having family feud over this. It's been 20 years and you lot are still beefing about this. Don't go to that uncle. That uncle is doing nonsense. Go to an uncle or your mom's friend or your mom's pastor or somebody who you know is trustworthy that has a good track record, that has evidence. You can say, yes, this uncle bought land for this person and even helped them to build on top of the land. Number two, you find a trusted agent. Recommendations and referrals are always the way forward. Ask somebody who knows somebody. Who do you know? Have they helped you before? Now, the person that, so recently I bought land, personally for myself, my agent, was a referral through one of my tenants in Nigeria. My agent actually helped me find the coordinates of my land to see if it didn't belong to anybody and to actually see if in truth it was actually available. Find a trusted agent who you know is reliable and has a good track record and would do small things like that like checking the coordinates and checking who owns this title and that title. Just that agent that's taking the extra measures, not just the ones that's trying to sell you quick. If you have an agent that all they're trying to do is just sell you dreams and sell you things very, very fast, don't go there because clearly they are just there to clean and collect your money. So please be careful, please. I'm begging you, do not be ripped off, do not be scammed because then you're just going to be like your parents complaining to your own children about how one time you went on Google, you found one agent and now they clean all your money. And now you'll be telling your kids to not just buy land in Nigeria as well. You too, you're not a victim. Your mum is a victim, your dad's a victim, you two, you are now a victim. Please, let's not, let's not build generations of victims in life. We don't want that. The third way you can approach this is finding good companies in Nigeria, trustworthy companies who are, like, you see they are sponsors for certain TV shows. They're sponsors for certain well-known labels, you know. They are in partnership with major banks. These companies are the ones who you should go to directly and say, hey, I want to buy land from you guys. Now, we actually partner with many of these companies. So these companies are legit and trustworthy. Go to them directly or find an agent to represent you if you can't go there yourself and ask them to inquire for you because they sell land and a lot of the lands from these big companies, they actually don't aren't, it's not family land. So you have no issue of Omoni Lair or any of these things. I'm gonna do a separate video on Omoni Lair and explain what that is after, so stay tuned for that. Yeah, you know, obviously join me for part two. You know, because this was a very, very long video like it was like 12 minutes long so i thought do you know what let's break it up into part one and part two you get what i'm saying actually no it was 17 minutes long so yeah obviously join me in the next video it's just part one anyway i'm just talking for the sake of talking now anyway shall i'll see you in the next video